Oh, hey there, Dins. <laughs> uh. Hi, my name's Jake Cartier. I teach at New Song School of Music. Specifically, I teach piano. So, I started piano around the age of seven, and I didn't find my love of music until probably like 15. <laughs> I, did, I did piano for the longest time to spite my brothers who uh, quit before me, and so I used it as a way to make fun of them. That was the only reason I did it. But what really helped me discover my love of music was actually a close friend of mine named, uh, his name was Aiden Steer. He still works as a bassist down in Minnesota though. He bribed me with five guys to go to see jazz concerts with him enough times that eventually I was like, hold on, there might be something to this. Ever since then, I discovered, you know, I really like playing music with people, and then that led me to jazz music, which there was like a side stop for a little bit, which was screamo and punk rock music, but then I, I landed to more calm music eventually. One of the things that I always like to brag as a teacher is the reason I can teach so well is because I've made every mistake you could possibly make in like any possible thing. So I've had quite a few moments where I'm just like, oh God, I need to give up this thing right now and do actual stuff. <laughs> um, I guess the first one was my piano teacher just straight up sat and looked at me and said, do you actually want to do piano? Because otherwise you can leave right now and never do this again. And I was like, oh God. The right answer here is yes, but is that actually what I'm thinking about it? And I said yes at that point because I was like, no, I, I'm seeing this thing through. Then when I went to college for piano, uh, I studied jazz music. I'd say like three days in, I had the thought of, hmm, I'm spending like, what, $150,000 on college for a degree that will most likely make zero money ever. <laughs> and I looked at myself and I thought, okay, but what else could I do? Like, what else would I even want to do? And that's, that's the question that kind of drove me through every single one of those moments. And then even right now, you know, I'm thinking about like, oh, is this the right decision? I just kind of think back to this choice of like, if not music, then what else? And there's just so much to do with music, so much fun things about it that I couldn't, I couldn't possibly teach geometry even if I wanted to, I'll just say that much. The thing that teaching music has really taught me the most of is the idea for me for music theory. I know, you know, it seems like I read textbooks and they didn't teach me as much as just trying to explain this stuff to people. Music theory to me is the study of what are you thinking when you're playing? What, how can you think through this stuff? And so when I get to sit down and be like, Here's one way of thinking through maybe like a C major scale. I have the history of how the C major scale was made. I have the uh, original context in which it became popular in America, in which it became popular in Vienna, in which it became popular in wherever. But not all of that will work, you know, when you sit down to a six-year-old and they're like, okay, what does this mean though? And so the thing that I guess I've learned most 
while teaching here is there's so many ways to think of this same musical concept and it's really expanded my thoughts about that. Yeah, so I mainly teach edgy teens is probably the like my biggest demographic, people who are looking at piano and thinking like, why am I doing this in any way? Uh, and I love teaching that demographic because I have a billion reasons of why you could like music. Music is so broad that you can do anything with it. My favorite kind of student is the kind of student who is like, kind of fed up with stuff, if that makes sense, and will like sit there and be like, why am I doing this specific thing? Asking those questions of not just like, why does this work, which is oh, such an easy question to answer, but why should I care about it? That's my favorite kind. New ways of thinking about different concepts, new music's coming out, why would someone like something like this? I, the other day I had a student ask me, uh, why do we have a piano to practice piano? Like, why do we need one? Because I can look at a piece of paper and say, okay, that's a C. I don't need the piano in front of me to tell me that. And that got me thinking about, okay, why do I need that? That's a great question. <laughs> But yeah, the new perspectives. Uh, I will say about myself, I perform around Sacramento primarily in the Elk Grove area and downtown. I do a ton of winery shows. If you drink wine, you've seen me at some point. I hate to say it. Uh, on top of that, I work at a local recording studio called uh, J. Weston Recording Studios. Uh, we mainly make, I'll say 1970s in style uh, funk music has been kind of our bread and butter as well as commercial music. If you've heard some royalty free music in the past, I've been part of it. I was in a punk rock band and a country band, literally back to back, it was the funniest thing. Uh, I've been trying to start jazz fusion bands. Okay, this one, this one I can't plug because it hasn't happened yet, but I've been dying to get a group together to do Vocaloid music. I have been dying to do Vocaloid music. Hatsune Miku, I've been working with that program for years and I want to find people to do that with. <laughs> yeah, hit me up. If you want my contact information, my number is 916. You can reach me at jakekirk.rotier at gmail.com. Or you can just call this place. Like, this is an advertisement for a school we work at. Maybe go to there. <laughs>